Hi guys. Hi guys. Good go morning. Good morning. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and that was my one-year-old daughter, Felicity. Actually, she's almost two now. Whatever. That just made me really sad. If you do not follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, then you would not know that we just announced that we are having baby number two and that I'm currently pregnant. But <laughs> honestly, I'm just going to go over the story about finding out that I'm pregnant and then also telling my husband that I'm pregnant. Okay, so I guess I have to just start this from like square one. My husband Noah and I had been trying for another baby since Listy was around nine or ten months old. I don't quite remember when I got my cycle back, but when I did was when we started actively trying every single month to get pregnant because we know we wanted our babies close in age. We kind of just want to like bang them out and get them all done and I mean still within a, um, a healthy matter of time. But still, we wanted to have our kids close together in age. Well, I started tracking all of my cycles, and I found out that my cycles were about 32 days long. But I wasn't ovulating until average day 25, so obviously that is not logistically enough time for you to be able to get pregnant and your uterine lining to like thicken and everything that kind of goes into the whole process of like the egg becoming a baby, you know. I'm not gonna go into all those details now, but that was not enough of a time frame for it to happen. And since I was ovulating so late, it really took us a, a while um, for us to get pregnant and for me to really heal my body and for my body to feel comfortable and safe enough for it to be willing to get pregnant again and sustain a pregnancy. It took us about 10, maybe 11 cycles. I honestly didn't really count. The months kind of just ran together from all the honest. But it took us a while to get pregnant with this baby. So after a few months of actively trying to heal and getting my body and my hormones back to what it needed to be, there was this one month in December where I ovulated on time. I'm not gonna get up right now, baby. Can I have a hug? Oh, thank you. So December comes by, I ovulated on time, and I really didn't allow myself to obsess over it. I didn't allow myself to count the days. I didn't allow myself to track or test early or anything. I just kind of let my body do what it needed to do, and if it would happen, it was going to happen. I literally deleted all of the apps off of my phone that I would sit there and kind of obsess over. I think deleting those apps actually did help me a lot from a mental standpoint because I wasn't sitting there again obsessing. So two days before my period started, I did notice some very, very extreme nausea and that was something I remembered with Felicity, but again, I wasn't really going to think all that much into it. Again, I chose not to test. I waited it out. I didn't even have pregnancy tests in the house. I was actually very proud of myself for not even having pregnancy tests in the house. So when it came down to it, I literally made myself wait until my period was officially two days late, which was actually the day before Christmas Eve, so December 23rd. I had gone out that morning, my husband was working from home that day, and I had taken the girl and I out. We had to do some last minute Christmas shopping because for whatever reason, my husband always shops on like the last day or two before Christmas. For all of his family so I had to go out and go get his Christmas presents for him. So I remember going to Target and I bought some pregnancy tests. I bought a pack of four, two that were digitals and two that were like the line ones. And that morning I remember thinking I'm gonna take a pregnancy test today just because I'm two days late. So I remember literally peeing in a cup and then bringing the cup into the laundry room which is kind of weird but it's what I did. So. I'm finished with the Christmas shopping and I come home, I decided to just take one then and see like if there was any line on the one that I took in the afternoon, I was going to use my pee from that morning and take a test with that one and obviously like kind of confirm in my head that it was actually positive. So when I took the test, I waited the like three minutes or however long it took and there was a very faint line there. And I don't know, even though I saw the line there, I was like, 
in denial that it was actually there. So my sister is out here in the living room. My husband is here in the office and I'm sitting there just trying to be calm, cool, and collected. But I also wanted to get into the laundry room to get the first morning piece so I could have taken another test that would have, in my head, confirmed that I was pregnant. So that's exactly what I did. So I snuck a digital, like I had a jacket on, like into my coat jacket, brought it into there and just said that I was like looking for ribbons or some crap to wrap up the presents with. I took the test with that first morning pee and in my head, because I know that digitals need more HCG, I was like, if this says that it's positive, then like for sure I'm pregnant. So I took both of the pregnancy tests again, I hid them in my coat jacket and I brought them into our bedroom and just took, shoved them into our bedside table drawer. And I was like, okay, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna tell Noah and I have to stay calm, cool, and collected so that he doesn't suspect anything and that my sister doesn't suspect anything. I wrapped up the um, pregnancy test, I literally just like put it in freaking wrapping paper and I wrote on it, Merry Early Christmas I think. At some point in the at like late afternoon, it was probably like five o'clock. Noah had just like I think taken a break or like finished work or something. I don't know exactly what he was doing in that moment. So I just tried to do it as like calmly and as collectively as I could. I still think it is so funny that I literally went to tell Noah that I was pregnant and I like bought him, I was like, I bought you this thing. He's like, what crap did you buy from Target? And I'm like, you're not technically wrong. I did buy it from Target. I did buy the pregnancy test from Target. But Noah is just so excited and we both, I, I mean, we're both so just ecstatic and we feel so grateful and so blessed to have gotten pregnant and that the baby is so healthy right now and we haven't had any complications thus far. So if you've been wondering where I have been, that is where I have been. I have been sick, I have been exhausted. Being pregnant with a toddler is like unlike any exhaustion that I've ever felt in my entire life. But um, <laughs> thanks so much for watching you guys and thanks for listening to our story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I will be posting a video recapping my first trimester and all the symptoms that came along with that as well as me telling my friends and my family that I'm pregnant and their reactions. So stay tuned for that. Those should be coming out in the next couple of weeks and uh, get used to a lot of pregnancy content because that's kind of where I'm at right now in life. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Blow kiss. Oh. Bye. Bye. Good job.